Martin Marquardson, just two minutes after tasting the 54-year-old Highland Park. That's a dram, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it, we, we talked about it, you and I doing the tasting here, that it's, it's very hard to put words on it because it's, um, the minute you get some flavors in and, and you think, oh, now we have, there's something new coming out and just keeps on going. And, and, and you rightfully actually mentioned that there are some flavors coming out here that you never, normally never find in whiskey. And, and that's true. It's, um, it's a very special whiskey. And, and, and uh, we as a team are extremely proud of it. it it's um, 225 bottles to celebrate our 205th anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, and... and we, we, we make fun about saying it's a project we started in 1968. It, not really, but, but it's a long time for a whiskey to be on its way and then um, come out in, in, in kind of the fresh air and now for us to sit and enjoy. And, and, and it's a proud moment for us. Yeah. Oldest and rarest whiskey from Highland Park ever. Yeah. We had the 21, the 25 and the third beforehand. Yeah. And they all lead to this very lively and, and, and intense whiskey, the 54 year old. Yeah, I, I, I think it's, 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 um, it's a good kind of journey to mm. see how a whiskey develops and casts. Um, where you, you 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 have you have a good kind of the same DNA and everything here, and 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 you 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 follow the peat on its journey as well, uh, where you normally will see less and less peat. We still have kind of the same level all the way through, and and uh, ends up with just um, a massive amount of, of of flavors from the wood, not too over woody. Uh, but that's the journey as well. You see from 21 develop up to, to 54. I think it, 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 it's a good journey. Yeah. So it was a great experience. Yeah. Thank you for having us there. Well, it's always my pleasure and, and so good to see you again. And, and uh, I wish I could say, let's do it again. So, uh, so but thank that you. Thank great. you for coming. Thank you. Promotion, we just had the 54-year-old Highland Park whiskey. And I would like to know, how did you select the cast for that? How many casts did you have? We, back in 2008, we had a number of casts from 1968. Uh, they had been in, in refill casts for 40 years. Mm. So they were still fairly light in color. But the one benefit of that 40 years in refill casts was that the, the whiskey had survived very well without becoming too woody. Mm. It had developed all these old, very fragrant characters that you only get in really old whiskies without being too dominated by the cast. Highland Park being a, a naturally coloured whisky, we need to get the colour and the character up a little bit. So for the past 14 years, these 10 casts were vatted together and put back into first fill European old sherry casts, which deliver a nice, rich, spicy and dried fruit character to it. Each one of those casts has gone in different directions and we've selected just one of those casts for the 54 year old. I was just discussing with Martin that uh, there's not a lot of wood in that, but there are some uh, spices and, and, and tastes and, and, and uh, things you never find in other whiskies. It's very alive, very fragrant. And that is the benefit of the refill cast, and, and that is that very, very slow aging that you get. You will find these as you, as you go up through 21, 25, 30, 40 year old, you'll start to see these unusual, delicate fragrances coming through. And these are the things that just really only form with extended maturation for Scotch whisky. And that final finishing in, in European sherry cast has just delivered some of the more woody, spicy uh, flavors. If it had been in these first all sherry casts from day one, it would have been very tannic, very dark, and very woody, and possibly undrinkable. Yeah. But it didn't overlay the, the original flavors of the old cast, did it? No, it's just, in terms of the 54-year-olds, a yeah. relatively short maturation. It's only 14 years it's yeah. been in the sherry cast, and that's just enough to deliver the flavors we've been looking for. Well, thank you so much for inviting us here. You're welcome. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you.